Good morning, you guys. Okay, so today I wanted to do a video where I was gonna actually get ready. It's the quickest tutorial ever um, with some of the items that I got from the anniversary sale and a few things from Nordstrom. Very simple. I used like one product for contouring, bronzing, everything, something new that I grabbed. Tom Ford palette, a lip kit, a mascara, pretty much everything um, that I that I got from the sale that I wanted to use. And I'm not trying to, oh, I'm just gonna put it all together to use here. It's the things that I've been using every day. It's so easy. And such a good look and I'm also going to be sharing with you after this we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the items that came from the remainder of my Nordstrom anniversary sale purchases if you missed my last video that I posted I believe last Tuesday so we're on a bit of like a different schedule here okay so I'm trying to like coordinate it with the sale days so you guys don't get frustrated you can get what you want um, a lot of the things should be restocking today because it is the first day of the public sale. Anyone watching this can can buy things from the sale now. Previously, the last week, it was just card holders. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And if you notice things that were out of stock, or even if you're checking now and something's out of stock, um, most of the things that I'm linking d did restock, okay? So they do restock during the different like tiers and especially today. Definitely like kind of stagger the items and you know, it's not completely wiped out. So it looks like it is for a while, but then it comes back. Okay, you feel me. All of these beauty items are in stock, which is great. Oh my gosh, these jammies. I was gonna get dressed. Okay, so this is, you know, I literally got ready, came in here, started getting ready and this is what I wore last night, okay? These jammies I talked about. Um, in the first Nordstrom anniversary sale video that we did last week, um, I have bought these jammies, the exact ones from Nordstrom for years. They are between seventy and ninety dollars. They're made out of ten cell fabric. They wash and dry like a dream. They never pill. Now I always get the ones that are long sleeved with pants. I did not know that they had a long sleeved and shorts version. This is ideal for me. <laughs> Even in the dead of summer, I sleep in long sleeves. Um, these are cool, right? Because it's, you know, you can put your arm out, you don't freeze to death. Uh, but, but I don't always want to sleep with my big pants, so I love these. Got this color, obsessed. Um, during the sale, they're about $45. So like $70 to $90 pair of, you know, jammies. I think the longer ones are a little more expensive. Um, $45. So they come in a bunch of different colors. I actually ordered this in black and in the lilac color. Um, I thought, I'm just going to wear my jammies. I don't think I've ever done a video on jammies before. PJs, jammies, jam jams, jam jams. Um, what do we what do we call them? Okay, so you guys, let's get into it. And then, like I said, we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to share with you guys a few of the items that came in and a few new outfits. Just kidding. Let me, let me show you these. Because I was like, I'm going to put on my jewelry fully with my jammies. These are the earrings that I showed in the video last week. My necklaces also came in, which I cannot wait to share those with you guys the little um oh they're not in here they're in my closet the little hoops you guys bought a ton of those those little pave ones if you did not get those grab those i also got them in silver they're slightly smaller than these but not too small they are the perfect hoops okay and they're like 20 dollars during the sale these i like because i kind of like a little well my space heater is like freaking out um i really like ones sometimes that are a little more like chunky and extra you know what i mean uh, but sometimes they're too heavy or they're just too much. These I love. It's like a thick chain. These are part of the sale. So I ordered two necklaces. Did you guys hear the rain? I love this bathroom because of the, um, there's a skylight in here, which I hated when we bought this house because I thought it's just going to cause us problems. And, you know, I love that thing. It's so nice. It's right above our tub and our shower. But when it rains, it sounds... You guys know, if you've got a skylight or something like that. So I'm trying to untangle this necklace because I put these two together, of course. There we go. Oh my gosh. Do you hear that? So pretty. So, such a vibe. Okay. This, you guys, so beautiful. I love a delicate cross. I love a chunky cross. I love a, chunk, a, a cross necklace all, all around. But mine are more like um, blingy. <laughs> Blingy. They have like, you know, like jewels. This one I thought so pretty. So it is solid sterling silver and it is um, gold plated and it is an amazing price. I think it's close to a hundred bucks normally. And I think during the sale, I want to say I got it for like less than half that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. 
such a beautiful classic piece oh my gosh so nice and a really good like layering necklace too and then I thought this was so cute it's a big like pave heart isn't that cute so got both of these um should I just go for it and wear both? is that a lot probably um you guys listen so excited about these things let's get in to the makeup I'm even going to show you like how I use the skincare and stuff and um and we'll get into it all right let's let's go all right so all I do in the morning I moisturize my face this is such a game changer it's a part of that set you can get the whole set plus like three other full-size products one that I'm about to use in a moisturizer that's really good I use this on my neck um but I also this morning used it all over my face the eyelid lift serum uh, I've used this for so many years and the whole set is just a little bit more than the eyelid lift serum on its own. I believe the eyelid lift serum is about 120, so that's 160 and I think it's like a 500 and something dollar value, which is nuts. Um, but that's this is what I do twice a day. Always do that right before it preps your eyelids perfectly for eyeshadow. No creasing, it's non-greasy, but it keeps your eyelid area tight right here. Um, I'll be 39 tomorrow, and I feel like my eye area looks really, really good uh, for that. And the Deep Crease Serum, this is a new one that I busted out of the set because I was on my last little drippy drops of the one that I had. And usually I'll just use it at night, but I just wanted to show you guys. It's really nice, and I feel like it really helps with, like, you know, your whole neck area. It's really good. And you can put your moisturizer over it. My neck area's always gotten really dry anyway, so... Honestly, like the more the better. Okay, and then just a quick foundation using the Armani Luminous Silk. The best. And the best brush, too. I use this for foundation, for bronzer, always, like with my little bronzing sticks, but I love a sponge a lot of the time as well like a blender type of sponge but this is an all-in-one if you get this brush you can use it truly for everything wet products dry products it's really really great a little of my fave under eye concealer from the same luminous silk line and then i always put it right there kind of where i put the um eyelid lift serum the eyelid lift serum comes with a dropper and you're not going to be like putting drop like I hate it when an eye cream comes in a pump I hate it when there's a big dropper you don't need that much you need do, do, do. so I always just and it's on clean eyes I've never had an issue don't share it or whatever just take the dropper and if you're concerned about germs just dab it on your finger and then do it just whatever is physically like on the tip of the dropper or I'll just you know touch it lightly but you do not need drops and and gobs of that stuff okay like it's just it's unnecessary and I'm just going to show you how like honestly this brush can be used for everything because I do use a sponge most of the time but if I travel I'm not traveling with a sponge washing it gross floating around a makeup bag um I take this and it's just an all-in-one truly everything you can even use this for contour or even eyeshadow I've taken this and just used it like for everything but just to show you if you're going to be picking up anything um, from any of this stuff like you can just throw this brush in and it'll change your life I'm telling you it's like the only foundation brush you need you can even use it for your powder blush which we'll do in a second put a few more just to like cover some blemishes let me tell you I have the zip from hell right here and I think okay so I ran out of I'd been using a pear cone eye cream which I love I'd ran out of it and I thought that during the anniversary sale, they might package like two of my favorite Shiseido eye creams of all time. Just ordered it regular because they didn't have it during the sale. But I had not been buying any eye cream because I was like, you know, holding out. And I was using like some shameful stuff, like old samples, like from my travel. You know, like you have a travel stash of like small stuff. I was using, I was using, I'm just using the same. I just dotted on that Armani concealer. Um... And I got like a little something right there. I'm like, I honestly, this is why you cannot review things right away, okay? You see someone that gets an eye cream or you know it just came out, someone's reviewing it. It's like, no, that stuff could like mess you up. Um, still not exactly sure of the exact culprit, but it's nothing that I've shown you guys or used a lot. It's just, I was just using old crap. But anyways, I did order the Shiseido eye cream, which I'll link to. 
Okay, let me show you. So this I picked up during the sale. It's not a part of the sale, but they sell it at Nordstrom. This is my favorite powder blush ever. This is the shade I've been using a lot. This is shade 50. They don't put the actual color names on. It just says 50, but I'll link to that. I love this. I've been using that a lot. And I got this one that's a little more bronzy. I'm going to show you guys uh, what this looks like. I have been keeping the makeup very simple lately. Okay, you can do the contouring. We can do the sticks. I love my bronzer sticks and everything. I just want to show you that you can like really go to town with just a handful of products. And um, this is a warmer sort of like terracotta shade. It works, okay? It works as blush. It works around the hairline. It's a very like nice summery look. Like it looks just kind of sun-kissed. It gives you like such the perfect like all-in-one. You don't have to use a bronzer and a blush and everything. If you have a darker skin tone, they do have a darker shade that's like this. Um, because I'm pretty tan right now considering like, you know, I'm fairly, I'm fairly fair. Okay, but I am kind of tan right now. So I think this would work well for very fair or a little slightly darker than than me if you're a little more like olive I think it would be really pretty too but they have one that's a lot darker so just you know don't make it complicated okay so pretty I'm gonna do a little swipe of this is my highlighter I absolutely love just you can use it. Oh, that's really that's a lot. I kind of like that a little. Okay, this, the Tiger Eye Palette. So you get this in a set for the anniversary sale plus two lipsticks for the price of just the quad. I love Tom Ford eyeshadows. They are expensive. And, um, okay. If you're going to buy it, buy it when you get like some freebies, okay? These colors are so beautiful. I love that they have a little sheen to them. The payoff is beautiful. I love this color. A lot of times I don't like something that's too, you know, obviously orange or obviously this or that. This is just a beautiful kind of like sun-kissed color. Um, really, really nice. Beautiful for the summer months, but also is going to be beautiful for fall because it's very like spice. I don't know, just like a pretty like spicy spicy killer okay and then i'm going to take a little bit of this one and put it right i love to pull a color like this on my lower lid and down a little it really helps with like that area where you might have fine lines of trying to wipe that so light and bright um the best thing you can do is to just put a little bit of concealer then you know not don't go crazy okay because that's if you go crazy on the concealer trying to color correct it's just going to accentuate everything um there's a fine line okay but if you kind of use the darker color it really kind of like hides all that okay a link to the brushes i'm using too and that same color and then this little fluffier brush I'm going to put right on the outward part. These are those Westman Atelier brushes. Um, I'll link to the exact ones. They do have Westman Atelier products. They have a few highlight sticks, which is good. Um, I didn't need a highlight stick. They also have a blush set that's West Westman Atelier. And I'm really picky about the products that I use on my cheeks about breaking out. And just um, look at the ingredients with certain stick products. Those are nice. If you're not super prone to breaking out in that area, um, then go for it. But I'm just always so careful. But I've never tried those before, so I can't really say. But um, I just really have been loving what I've been using lately. And I just find this is so easy, okay? The lighter color, just a little bit right on the lid. And the biggest thing that you want to do is really like accentuate this with the darker color. This dark color is so beautiful. I love this little Trish McAvoy brush. They have a Trish McAvoy brush set during the sale. I have a few Trish McAvoy brushes. This is one, okay, best brush ever. If I had to pick an all-time best brush of any that I've ever used in my entire life, this one would be it. Um, this is the only Trish McAvoy eye brush that I have. I'm really eyeing that set and um, I look at all my eye brushes and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, do I need that? Probably not. And I've got good ones, but if you guys are eyeing some new brushes or you want to try something, I can attest that the Trish McAvoy brushes are very good. 
Now I like that this darker color is not as, um, it doesn't have as much of a sheen. So it's really gonna like layer nicely. Cause sometimes when you apply colors that are all frosts, they just start running together. But um, do this one last to really kind of accentuate that outer corner, whatever's left on the brush, but right on that outer edge on the lower. And then this is a little more like extra than what I do day to day. So I like that. I like that, you know, I could have just stopped and not applied the darker color for a daytime look. I could have just for like an easy natural wash of color done this part right here. Um, it's just very easy, but I like that it's very versatile. I love the end of this little brush too, because you can like really blend and okay. I think that's good. I mean, pretty simple, right? And then I wanted to use this uh, Shantikai mascara that came in a set of two. It's very expensive mascara, okay? The set for two is still pricey, but you have to think this is a mascara that has like peptides and good ingredients. It's kind of like a lash serum and a mascara in one. Although, I mean, you can see my lashes. Pick up this lash serum during the sale. And I had run out of my brow serum that I love, which is this, which is also part of the sale. It's essentially like, usually these are $100 a piece. They last a long time. Invest in your brows and your eyelashes. It'll change the game. You won't even have to wear makeup most of the time. I think this is one of the biggest, like, the best things that you can buy. But in the set, it come, it's kind of like a BOGO. So you get, like, two for the price of one. But I had ran out of that a long time ago. And I had just been using, like, this this one um, that I had spent a lot less on. That's pretty popular. And my eyebrows are really chunky right here. So I do feel like, you know, lash serums. I don't want to say unfortunately, but yeah. There's something, like, if you... You can't just use them and then get the good lashes and then stop using them because then it'll go away. It's like, and people don't understand that, but I'm like, it's like skincare. Okay, you splurge on skincare, you use it twice, your skin looks great. Okay, never use it again, see what happens. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so you do have to keep using it, but the Shantikai mascara is really good. I like it because I don't like goopy wet mascaras. It's a very um, buildable dramatic formula but I love this brush because it goes on very fluffy and um and really like really well and I bought the same set during the sale last year and really really loved it I kept one and gave one to a friend um but wow like just really really good stuff and when you use it you feel good about it I didn't even use liner I mean I'm just kind of showing y'all and you could have taken one of the little applicators from this and taken that dark color and done like a little bit of liner with it. I did that the other day, really liked that. But, you know, you don't really need it. And the lipstick colors that come with that are really good. I talked about it during uh, last week's video, but it is, it is really good. It's like that Casablanca color, which I really love. And then one that's called like 90s or something. It's just slightly brown. It's really good. Both go really well with this look. But I'm going to use my Pillow Talk set for this. I'll link to the little brow pencil that I'm using. This one's almost out. But it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, so quick and easy. It's the Dior. I'll link to that and put my color below. Okay. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury set. You get um, the Pillow Talk lip liner, the Pillow Talk lipstick, and then the Pillow Talk uh, lip gloss. I never tried the lip gloss. I love the lip liner. So this is mine that I had before that I knew was getting kind of low. And I love the lipstick, and I haven't had one of those in a while, so I was happy to get the set. I always have those like old favorite things, like old favorite lip liners, or like a handful that you really love, a couple, and. This is always one of them for me. It's so good. And then the Pillow Talk lipstick. I just said so many times, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are my absolute favorite because they have a lot of payoff. They feel like nothing on your lips and they're not too goopy. They're not too matte. Pillow Talk's a perfect color because it's not like too nude, not too pink, not too brown. And then, I'm so excited about this. I wore it on its own the other day and it was so pretty. But it really is so nice. Obviously, the, like the coordinating Polo Talk stuff. And it's very sparkly. I think it's called like a. Oh my gosh, I forgot what these are exactly called. Something about like dazzle, you know, so pretty. 
So I love that her lipsticks aren't sticky. They have a slight little like vanilla flavor scent. Is that it? That's it. It's very quick, very easy. Um, the Paracone set, I didn't show it. I think I didn't show the box. But like I said, you know, this is a product I have repurchased again and again for close to, I want to say close to 10 years. I always have that time reference because I know we moved in here about 10 years ago and I know I used it at the old house. So it's really, really good. Religious with that stuff. Invest in things like that that's really going to like change the game of like your skincare. But that is something that I'll never be without. And like I said, for just a little more than the price of the Eyelid Lift Serum, you get a full size um, deep crease serum, which is really, I mean, I used to use it here, here. I haven't had Botox. I mean, my Botox is worn off now, but I used to find like years ago before I started getting it, I would put it in those areas. Um, but this is a game changer for your neck. So it's kind of just the best serum. And I had just run out of that when I got this. You get a full size one of these, which this is my old jar. It's the um, the rejuvenating moisturizer. Their stuff really, really works. It's really great. And then you get a full size chia oil, which I've never used, but I have gotten away from using a lot of my face oils lately, but I really love that. Here's what this looks like. See, I've already kind of busted in. I've opened the, oh no, maybe that is the new moisturizer. Yeah, that's right, because I just used the old one. So this is the new moisturizer, Eyelid Lift Serum. Um, you get the deep crease serum and then the chia oil and then it has these little droppers um, be careful because the little one for the eye is smaller and of course when I busted into my deep crease serum I put the small dropper in it for that went with the eye product but this is um, you know I love getting the fun sets that's what I'm all about if there's something that I need to stock up on like my lash and brow serum or something like this or an eye cream or something that I use all the time that I know I love a good mascara that's fine but the fun sets are really fun, you know, to get and to just kind of mess around with and try something new. But y'all, this is good. You got it. You got to get that. Okay. So anyways, I feel like that's a really good look for the amount of products that I used. It wasn't hard, super easy. Grab this blush. Let's get in to the items that came with my order. So I went shopping the first day on the 11th last week, picked up the items, brought them home, showed you guys those things that were available in store that day that I picked out in the video. And everything that they didn't have in the store, she ordered for me and those things just came. So I'm gonna show you guys those. So let's go downstairs and I'll try on some of those things and show you. So, right okay, now. shoes, clothes, a few more beauty items. And um, let's just get into, okay, this is something that was on the sale last year, these Ugg blankets. These are around $100 normally all the time. They have them on the website year round for about 100 bucks. And during the sale, I believe they're like 60 something. Now, this is an ex excellent gift. I think that is a perfect price point for like a really nice gift for a family member. Last year and the year before, I bought so many of these. For, and they come in like I think 12 colors or something, okay? Every color you can imagine. Um, for Brad's side of the family, everybody like got a different color. And then I believe the year before that, I, I did the same brand for my family. You know, I kind of like switched it off. But this... This time of year is when I really love to start like hoarding up Christmas gifts. They're already wrapped so beautifully. Um, you can just give them like, like this or I just put them in like a big bag and it's like ready to go. And everyone loves these. Ugg's a nice brand. I mean, anyone's going to love that. But this one is for myself. So <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm going to open it and show you guys how pretty it is. I had never had one of these. I got these for everyone and loved them so much. Yeah. They're normally $98, and this is the color Live Oak. There's also a darker brown one, which I think would be beautiful, but I was just gonna kinda like throw this over this couch or like one of my chairs in here. Um, I know that everyone has really enjoyed theirs that I gave them to. And they also have, which I didn't buy any this year because you know we've been there, we've done that, but if you haven't, you need to grab some Barefoot Dreams blankets, okay? They put them on the sale every year. I've had mine for again like a decade because one of mine is from i know from the old house but they have the leopard ones i believe they have like some different colors this is a really big blanket i hate it when you like spend a lot of money on like a nice blanket and it's like Neow. you know it's little i'm like what am i what am i gonna do this it's perfect sized throw blanket and then let me show you guys okay i'm just gonna like stay in these jammies all day fully like still hobbling right I definitely overdid it with this foot the last several days. I was feeling it this morning. Okay, look how nice. 
Can you guys see how big this is? Really big. Really, oh, so comfy and cozy. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. And um, I just thought this color was really pretty. It looks like you're cuddled up with like a, like a plush or like a, like a, it's like an adult like stuffed animal. I don't know, it's, it's cool. Um, so grab those for gifts. Grab the Barefoot Dreams if you haven't for gifts. I think five or six years ago during the sale, I bought Barefoot Dreams but gifts for everyone, you know, during this time because you're going to want to buy these things obviously closer to Christmas and they're not going to be at this discount ever again until the next year. Like you can't find those things on sale. Okay. That's that. I got a pair of boots that I absolutely am obsessed with. Okay, these are so good, you guys. First of all, I had been wanting a pair of, like, cowboy boots that were a little, like, closer to the knee. Not, like, costumey cowboy boots. We don't do that unless we're going to a rodeo. And even if I were, it's a little much, okay? I just, I don't want to look like I'm in costume ever. Especially when you're, especially when you're going somewhere kind of themed. I just want to look like appropriate like oh this is what I'd be wearing normally not like I'm wearing a costume you know we've talked about costume dressing okay it's I don't I don't I don't really feel it but listen these are a cowboy style but what I really love is that okay first of all they're super easy to get into they have a zip but they have like a lot of space around the top which I think is what's flattering um you know I have some that are those over the knee boots or even you know, taller boots that are skin tight around your calves, and that's just not what I'm going for. These are very, very, these have a lot of space, and I just think that's a more flattering look. Now, price point for boots like this, these are a very good price point considering they're not just like fashion boots. They're waterproof. They're made really well. They have like a big thing on them that says like waterproof. You could wear these in the rain. You'd be fine. They also come in like a color kind of like this a little darker kind of like a typical you know like kind of warm chestnutty color um suede that now I'm kind of like ooh, that's the color I think I I think I get those two because again like there's been times when I've looked for boots like this and I'm not spending like five six hundred bucks to get this look you know I want nice made boots which these are I've had a, I've had this brand before they're really nice um and they look really really cute so maybe not in that particular outfit but I just wanted to show you what they looked like you know like with, with your bare legs they would definitely go over jeans perfectly although I don't have any like skinny ones down here that I could show those with but so cute with a dress or with shorts that's the style of boot you want if you want that look so scoop those up uh, last time I checked <laughs> today uh, all of the sizes in both colors were in stock, so definitely check those out. Okay, so um, this was something that I knew that, I don't know what happened, but in my closet, like, I have, you know, like, I have some cardigans, you know, your typical black cardigan, you know, like a cream one or whatever, and mine were either really long or they were really chunky, or the, and I, the other day I was like, I just need one to throw on, like, a couple months ago, I need one, I was like, you know, I don't have that, and I thought the anniversary sale always has tons of these, and they didn't have as many this year, but I'm so happy that, because honestly, sometimes they have too many of the same items, okay? Like, we know the years where it was like, how many of the same pair of boots? The, the shoes were, for so many years, just kind of like a lot of the same. I thought that the selection this year and the variety was really good, okay? But I appreciated this because this one is a good one. And it comes in some different colors. I might grab, um, there's a lighter color. It's like a more like natural kind of color, like ivory or something that I might get too. But I like this one because it doesn't feel, you know, some of these cardigans have like that cheapy, sweatery feel. Um, or they just feel like fuzz or they feel scratchy or they just feel cheap. And I really like this one because it's kind of like a, silkyish weave like it looks nice okay you can kind of see the fit is it's really really nice on this one I have it on over just you know one of those favorite camis which scoop those up during the sale okay and let's let's talk about the jeans so these well not jeans but well they're this the coated denim okay they have kind of like that um that faux leather look and I love, love, love the cut and fit of these. I love the flare. They're, yeah, well, 
you know, they're not fitted and then flared. They're more of a wide leg, which I think is really nice. Really has like, I think especially if you're going for like a coated leather look, this is a way to do it without looking too like, tell me about it, stud, which that's a good look too. <laughs> okay. Not knocking that. Okay. But do you know what I mean? These are just so good. Again, a good time to buy denim, designer denim, brands that you love. I linked to both of these in my last video. A ton of you grabbed these. So if you didn't grab these, I hope that they restock today, but there are some that are identical. I will, I will link to even by the same brand that just have like, they're the same cut, but they just have like a different like strap at the top. I don't know. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, but really flared, really stretchy, perfect color. Frame is one of my favorite brands. Very, very, really expensive, okay? I just want to give you an example of how discounted they do their designer denim during the sale. So, Frame denim. Denim something you should have forever if you buy nice ones, okay? There's certain ones that you wear out that come in and out, whatever. But I really love a nice designer pair that's, like, really quality that you know you're just going to have and... And just we're in love but can you tell I'm just like overly explaining this because the price is ridiculous and I'm honestly selling myself so normally all the time these jeans are two hundred and sixty dollars okay during the sale they were a hundred and sixty I believe now that's still very expensive okay but if you're gonna buy these or you're looking for any denim or any this sale is just so good <laughs> like it's just really good now this is something I really hope they restock um, I have a few more beauty things we'll talk about here in a second uh, but just like I said just a couple things just these two clothing items that were but that were out of stock when I saw them um, now but hopefully they are restocked the day that you're watching this because they do that but I will link to some jeans that are identical they had so many wide leg jeans Baby doll tees? Baby doll, or are they called baby tees? Okay, you guys know. Um, I graduated like 2002, okay? I came up in the 90s, late 90s, like when I was kind of like, you know, a teenager and starting to like care about what I wore. And baby tees, shrunken tees that had like this, you know, the band around the top and the sleeve, they were all that we were doing. Now, this looks very cropped. When you put it on like with your pants, it's not. It hits like way below the belly button. But, um, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. But they have one that I so wish I would have ordered that I think I'm going to order right when I turn this off. It says Malibu. It's super cute. I do think having one or two of these is cute. I think this one was like under, I think it was around $15, maybe under $20. I don't really remember. But hopefully they will have this back. A ton of you guys um, ordered this. I did link to this. So it's not like I'm holding out and then just showing it now. Like we linked to this. We talked about it during the wish list. So hope a lot of you guys got your hands on that. Um, but they should, they should restock, but if not, I'll link to the other baby LTs. So, um, a few, th few more things. So I got a jumbo of my Lancer, uh, face scrub, which I had not had in a long time. I feel like honestly with wrinkles, skin texture, that top layer that gets crepey, I'm shocked at how many people don't use a physical exfoliant. I think for so many, use a chemical one, do all that. But this one you can actually use every day. They have so many different types. They have sensitive skin, whatever. But the normal one is just a good bet, but you get so much in this like value size. So I really love when they do this giant. But this stuff is a miracle. Um, People, I think, got scared of physical exfoliants. We've been there. We've done this. We have had this conversation so many times, but I'm still so shocked when I see people that might just be doing one like once a week or never or whatever, and then you might look at your skin texture and it looks a little bumpy or it looks a little lumpy. This will take care of that. You just have to be consistent with it. Uh, it's really, really key for anti-aging, skin texture, nothing more important than, than a physical exfoliant. A chemical exfoliant is amazing. We use those too. But this is, this is great. And, you know, people got all nuts. Oh, it's tearing your skin. There are some real garbage exfoliators out there. This is not one of them, okay? This is legit. It's the real stuff. You can use it and just, you don't scrub. You just let the scrub do the work. You know, you just lightly roll it over. You just smooth it on. It is the best. Okay, I'm so excited. We raved about this a long time ago. This is I, really, really inexpensive during the sale. It's the Coconut Body Lotion. Um, the Kylie skin and I bought this a year or so ago I don't know 
the time they came out. Maybe it was long, longer ago than that. I could not get enough of this stuff. We raved about this. We were all in love with it. It smells so good. I cannot wait to get into this again. I just really love this. It's not like a cheesy smelling like fakey coconut. It really smells like real, just real coconut and it makes your skin look incredible. It is a very, very good body lotion, but really, really inexpensive during the sale. Okay, now this, this didn't come yet, but this is a gift with purchase if you buy Valentino. So if you order that Valentino set that I linked to, which they still have, um, it's the lipstick set that comes in the studded Valentino little clutch type of thing. I've told you guys I love that, like my Dior makeup bag that I got and the Dior set. I'll link to that. Um, you know, I got a little studded Valentino clutch thing last year. I got a Dior bag that said like Dior that had lipstick on it. It doesn't say like Dior Beauty. It's literally like, it's nice, okay? And I think these things are fun. And so whenever I see like one of these designer brands with a set, I always kind of go for it. And this is just the free gift. And the, the little Valentino studded, it's called like a little vanity case. Uh, this came with some of my other items, but the little studded lipstick set hasn't come yet. But I'll link to it, scoop that up. Um, but look, for traveling, this would be great for jewelry, for sunglasses, just putting things in, you know, just having that when you travel. That's a really nice little thing. So I, I saw this and I was like, what is this? You know, it was exciting. So. Um, I believe they're still doing this gift with purchase, so if you do order that Valentino set, it's like you get some extra. And then let's end it with this, because I was really disappointed, honestly, that this sold out, because it's the buy rate, but I hope it's still in stock. Check it, it could still be in stock. Like I said, they're going to... Um, they're going to restock things today for the for the sale for the rest of the couple weeks. They don't just blow it all out during that first week. They stagger the items. They have a certain amount, and then those are sold out so that the people that are shopping today, that we all can get everything. You know what I'm saying? So just be patient with the things. And you know what? They may have sold out this morning. You know, I'm going to try to get this up. Hopefully, I may even put this up Sunday night. I'm just, I don't know. I may even put this up like the night before. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure this out. I'm filming on Saturday, so I'll see what happens. But the Byredo perfumes, I've been a fan of for years. And so this is the little set called um, Les Triples. So little triples. Three. They look just like the Byredo bottles. They're not little minis that are in little coffrets or little vials, which that's fine. But I like that these look like the real perfumes. They do not have a sprayer. When you take them out, um, they are whoa please don't break um they just are a little screw top which is fine it's great but that's actually quite a bit of perfume i know they look tiny um but the price of these it's not like the same price i don't believe it's the same price as like what one it's, it's a lot less than like what one perfume would be i believe but i thought it's a great way to try different ones one of my best friends is getting this set and she was like you know, I've never tried these before, so this is a good way to do it. And these are three of their most popular scents. The Gypsy Water, the Mojave Ghost, which Mojave Ghost is my first one. It is very similar to Marc Jacobs' Daisy, but just a little better. The Gypsy Water smells exactly like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which I'm not super a super fan of, but I do think that it's, it's a fresh scent. People go nuts over the Gypsy Water. Um... And then the Balde Freak, which I've never had this one, but I remember when I went to um, to buy my first one, I remember the woman was like so upset that I didn't buy this one. She was like, this is the best one. That's my favorite one. I was like, okay. And then I ended up getting Gypsy Water because that's like, or no, I got Mojave Ghost. Let me see. Okay, I fully feel bad about using this because whatever, she'll understand. I'm going to try that. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh. Ooh, that lady five years ago was right. Oh, man. You know what that smells like? Okay, I think Ball de Freak's the best one out of all of them. That smells like, um, it's kind of similar. <laughs> okay, this is, this is weird. It smells like Mojave Ghost and Gypsy Water together, but with like a tobacco, like a tobacco scent. Do you know what I'm saying? I had a perfume a long time ago that had that like tobacco hint. Oh, that sounds weird, but ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Now, I fully may still give this to my friend, even though I just used that. So I bought these for myself. But, you know, I have so many of these. I'm going to give this as a gift because 
I don't know. But if you can get your hands on this, it's a really cute little set. And then what else? Oh my gosh, you didn't get the Diptyque candle set. Grab that, the Volcano candle. I've got mine burning now in my kitchen. Um, that was a great price for that. I think I'm going to buy a couple more of those to give as gifts. Because like I said, I was going to give that one to my mother-in-law. But I just love the way it looked in my house so much. I'll just buy another one for her to give to her like for Christmas. And maybe a few more for gifts. But, but yeah, you guys, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that... You're having fun with this sale. I always, you know, doing these videos and getting all this together during this time of year, it's a lot during the sale, but I love this time of year because I have so much fun, like just looking at the items, placing an order here or there. You know, I get what I want for myself in the beginning, and then I really kind of go back and start focusing on ooh, gifts, you know, maybe get one or two of these for this person or that person, and then... I kind of start going into the fall after this, which let's not rush it, okay? We'll get there. Um, I go into the fall and the holiday season, like kind of feeling a little more prepared, do you know what I mean? And then you're not spending so much around the holidays on gifts because you're kind of already like, you're kind of halfway there, right? You're mostly there. But all of the people that are rushing fall saying, this is the most insane I think it's ever been. There's all those memes saying, after the 4th of July, it's basically fall. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, why are we trying to just eliminate summer? And hello, let's at least wait till after my birthday, okay? After July 16th, then we can do what, you can do whatever you want, okay? But I'm putting my foot down. I'm putting my bum, broken foot down. It, it ain't fall yet, so you're wrong, okay? But, um... <laughs> But I really am, every year, I'm so just like, like watching people post their fall stuff. I am more excited about it this year than usual. I think what is going on with all this like romanticizing fall, which we've always loved fall, but just the like wanting to like start celebrating fall on July 1st and, you know, start decorating for Halloween on July 5th and the pumpkin spice latte. Why aren't the pumpkin spice lattes out yet? Because it's 100 degrees, Barb. It is 100 degrees outside. Um, I'm trying to enjoy myself. We were all just like dying for summer. And now everybody is just complaining. Okay, I mean, that's what we do. Especially in the South. Okay, you don't want to see like people get real unhinged about weather and never satisfied come to the South. <clears throat> it's too cold. It's too hot. It's too humid. It's too, my sinuses are dry. It's just too much. We can never be pleased. Okay, we can never be satisfied. But I'm going to say it. I think when, I think nowadays, people are just in their own bubble. We're at home. The seasons mean nothing to us. They're just for fun. They're just a little bit of excitement. When I was growing up and back in the day, we really valued our summers because we were going to school and valuing that were they? I don't. And it was like, let's enjoy our summers. Now people are just vacationing all the time. Nobody cares. Summer's not even special anymore. And um, as someone with a summer birthday, I think we need to take a stand. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't flip and care, you guys. Everyone's so upset about everything. But I'm just saying, let's just enjoy. Enjoy the day we're in, okay? It's summer. Okay. Love you guys. Have a good time shopping the sale. Hope that you saw a few things that you liked. Um, if you have not seen my first anniversary sale, check that out. I'll put the link in this video too. Happy shopping. Grab the pajamas. Thank me later. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.